And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know. Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Stephanie Marie. So I'm coming to you guys with something different. Um, I had locks for two and a half years and I'm just gonna get straight to the point because I've seen a lot of videos where they go on and on, but I'm in the process of taking my locks out as you guys can see. Um, like I said before, I had them for two and a half years. I kind of got overwhelmed with them because they weren't really the right size. Um, that I wanted and not only that I think the person who I had start my locks um, They didn't do a good job when I first started my locks. I did instant locks So I was able to regain my or retain my sh my um, length for my locks But after a while as, as they matured, I really didn't like them So I decided to comb them out. So as you can see that's what came out of my locks um, as I started combing them out, I don't know if it was mold or it looks like a combination of like mold and lint, but <laughs> I'm not going to say for sure. I don't want to scare myself and freak myself out. So um, the process itself took about two days for me to take out 56 locks. Um, I used the products that I showed just previously. It was uh, the Hawaiian Silky uh, conditioner, leave-in conditioner. Uh, that pretty much helped with a lot of my detangling and it allowed me to like easily go through the locks as you can see and then I used the main choice uh, detangling restore conditioner as y'all see and then I had a spray bottle and then I had my rat tail cone so as y'all can see in the video I'm pretty much going through it with my rat tail comb using different techniques um, to kind of get my locks undone um, I had a variation of medium size locks, so they were maybe about a quarter of an inch to almost a half an inch. Um, again, when I started my lock journey, I really did not want my locks to be this big. But now that I have done the journey, I kind of know what to do the next time around if I decided to get locks. Um, but right now, with my hair being in its loose natural state I kind of miss it I miss the um, the ability to be so versatile with my hair being able to wear it down being able to curl it being able to um, slick it back if I want to I really wasn't a big sewing person um, well no I lie <laughs> I loved my sew-ins um, I wasn't a big wig person so I would do wigs but it wouldn't be like the glue down wigs it would be more so like you know just take put it on and then take it off at the end of the night type wigs um i wasn't really like a natural hair wig where it was more like the synthetic wigs that i really liked um so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video break last night I got about half of my head done and it's Sunday and I have to work tomorrow so I got half of my hair done and this is what my texture looks like I miss it I miss my hair um so this is what it looks like I know that I'm definitely going to have to get some sort of trim um, I'm not gonna do it right away. Uh, once I'm done doing everything and getting everything out, I'll wash it myself and then I'll go ahead and wait a couple days just so that my scalp has that time to breathe. And then I'll go ahead and schedule an appointment to just go get a wash and maybe some perm rods or something like that. I noticed that like one of my locks was like super long. Um, I still have hair that is coming out so I know for the next couple of days I'm gonna have a lot of shedding um, which is why I don't want to get my hair done right away but yeah one of my locks is like super long um, keep in mind I did cut my hair several times during my lock journey um, I want to say I cut it maybe about four times in the two and a half years that I had them so, um, and the reason why I cut it is because I kind of like having the bob style. 
Um, I really didn't like having my hair up in a bun or, you know, an updo because I felt like it kind of pulled on my scalp a lot, even when I would get it done and my loctician wouldn't do it tight. Uh, I just still felt like it was a lot of uh, tension on my scalp being pulled. So I really liked keeping my hair in a bob. Um, but yeah. So, it is now, let me try to get in frame. All right, so it is almost two in the morning and I've got one more lock left out of 56 locks. Um, I took two breaks uh, for lunch and for dinner and here I am. So I definitely need to just try to get this knocked out. So once I get it knocked out, I'll go wash my hair and then I'll come back real quick. That's if I don't pass out and I'll show you guys the finished uh, product of my curls. Here we go. Okay ladies, I have washed my hair. It is now three o'clock in the morning and here we go. Um, shrinkage is real. <laughs> Uh, but I am loving my hair back out. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it. 56 locks in two days. All right, everyone, so I am back. Um, I did my hair last night. Um, I think I braided it in four different sections and um, I kind of just let it air dry and do its thing and went to sleep. And then this morning I did this hairstyle hair. Um, gotta go my edges back. But this is my hair after it's been taken out of my locks. Um, I feel super liberated. Um, I kind of feel, my head feels lighter. I don't know if like, that's a thing, but my head does feel a little lighter. And um, yeah, so like I told you guys before, it took me two days to do. Um, if I would not have stopped and did my braids and started late, it probably I probably would have been done before midnight last night, but I didn't go to bed until three after I finished washing it. So um, this is the end result of my hair. And uh, I'm probably not gonna get it done professionally until like the end of this week. I kind of just want to give it some time to breathe because it does feel um, a bit brittle. So um, I'm keeping that in mind. And then also I'm just being mindful of the products that I use as well as um, the equipment I use as far as like the scrunchies and the hairpins and just making sure that I'm not pulling too much around my edges or like even the ends of my hair, making sure that they're protected. Um, but yeah, this is it, and yeah, I will follow up with you guys. I got a little bun bun back here, a little bun bun. <laughs> but I'll follow up with you guys in a month and let y'all know um, how this journey's going. So. Oh, and if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know.